Hello and welcome to MIP TV, the TV channel dedicated to Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy and, of course, its activities, which are uh, huge. There's lots of stuff going on. And today I'm with Bob Cook from MIP, and he's going to um, share with us one of his favourite books. Isn't that right, Bob? Well, yes, it's, um, it's a really good opportunity for me to share this book. It's the fourth review we've done. Yeah. Uh, of these books and the last one we did was um, TA Today by Ian Stewart. So I'm going to follow on with another book written by him um, and it's called Personality Adaptations written by him and Van Joins from America and they wrote this wonderful uh, book on really how uh, it, they looked at how we become the way we are and looked at the different um, adaptations that we might follow in the, in the sense of functioning. Uh, it became a really um, uh, well-known book on psychotherapy courses. Um, people used it not only for interest, but also how to diagnose clients and how to um, look at how we actually can work with them um, through appropriate psychotherapy sequences. So I'm just going to read to you uh, a paragraph of, of this book which is at the back of their, their, their book. So this is what Ian Stewart says at the back of his personality adaptations book. This book is a practical guide to understanding personality. It presents a research-based model of six personality adaptations. Psychotherapists and counsellors, whether, whether in practice or in training, will find this model an invaluable aid to effectiveness in inviting personal change. So what, what he does is look at different adaptations such as schizoid adaptation, the paranoid adaptation, the obsessive compulsive adaptation, the paranoid adaptation and the antisocial adaptation and they look at different channels of contact, how we can contact these types of people through different um, levels of contact. So as psychotherapists in training, as we learn our skills, we can actually have an actual guide of how we can work with these people at the beginning, middle and end of psychotherapy. It's absolutely fascinating to look at the characteristics, the features, that make up these particular adaptations that we all have, by the way. Yeah, so it, it sounds to me, Bob, and, and for those of you watching who may not be psychotherapists, psychotherapists and certainly in the TA world diagnose. So in other words, um, as part of the training, there's, there's a diagnostic module where students can effectively work with clients and diagnose um, what may be troubling them. Do you want to say a bit more about that, Bob? Because I think I think that's interesting. A lot of counsellors would, would would say we we don't diagnose. So just tell us a little bit about how that works. Well, it's quite simply, it's how we became or how we become the way we are. Uh -huh. So if somebody comes with um, certain troubles or low mood or uh, particular traits which uh, inhibit their functioning, it's it's good to think of having some models for us and them to understand how they became how they are today. Now, diagnosis is certainly one word for, uh, you know, looking or mm. giving people a model of how they, they become the way they are. And, you know, there's, there's arguments for and against um, looking at diagnostic models. But for me, personally, I think it aids beginning therapists to have some sort of structure to think of, well, when somebody's coming with these types of features, maybe they're actually depressed mm. or maybe they um, have obsessions and or maybe they're uh, withdrawn. And what, what can we do to meet these people in a way to enhance their personal yeah. growth and effectiveness? Now, we can... Uh, we, 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 we certainly can think about it in terms of not diagnosing and just working with the contact between the two of us and looking at the relationship and what comes up in the space of the relationship. I think it's useful 
to think of how the past affects the present mm. and mm. what actually happens happens in a person's life that they go down this particular road and how can we meet them in that road so this book really outlines the types of personality and and how how they develop so therapists can get a clear view of what that personality functioning looks like and gives a clear path into how to work and treat with and help the clients um either come to terms with or work with their their personality function yeah so for example um let's just take one of those adaptations let's look at the what is called the schizoid adaptation mm -hmm. which of course is quite a medical word i understand that mm. but it simply means split right that's what schizoid means it means to split and those sorts of people they sort of will present disconnected from the world they'll present disconnected from their self and they'll present disconnected from you and they'll have certain levels of uh, passivity and usually their issues are about how to be in the world in a vibrant spontaneous way where they can be in relationships connected and feeling a sense of power rather than being um you know, back in their own dungeon or their own castle or mm. disconnected from the other. So they're so withdrawn, they feel out of sync with people, yeah, you know, people or the human race, if you like. Yeah. So if you have got some, some thinking about how to meet these types of people and understanding how they become how they are, then you can help a person connect, this type of person connect and be in the world so they feel more a sense of belonging and are more effective in human communication and to have a model that helps the therapist uh, in these sorts of processes are so valuable I think especially yeah. if you get to train people to be therapists and how to work with people from all different types of adaptations yes so this book clearly outlines the different mm. forms of personality adaptation and it also informs a clear way of working with that so why why is this book so useful to therapists and indeed trainee therapists what is it that makes this book so accessible bob because it gives a very clear um, guide how to work effectively with different types of character styles so somebody who's paranoid you would connect with them in a different way than somebody who's hysterical hmm. Or somebody was obsessive, and if and if we can contact those people the way that they don't see, feel so overwhelmed, we are on the road to understanding them. Mm. So good, this gives a book to help us understand how we communicate with different character styles, and once we can understand that, we're on the road to um, uh, the two people um, really understanding the subjective world of the other. So they can feel understood and really, you know, get better, really. Mm. I mean, it feels, it feels to me like the, the, the book is written especially for, for trainees. Yeah. And it, it also feels to me like this, this book is going to be a, almost like a guidebook for trainees yeah. to get a sense of, A, what the personality adaptation is, and also how do I work with that? in a therapeutic way how do i connect to those clients with that particular adaptation yeah to affect better communication mm. and cure yeah so have you got any favorite chapters in the book are there any any chapters or any parts of the book bob <laughs> that kind of you think you find yourself going back to i know when i get a book sometimes it's got a crease in it when i've gone back to have a look and to refresh myself is there anything is there anything in, is there any creases in your books, Bob? <laughs> well, two or three, really. I do like um, the chapter which gives, which gives an overview of the different adaptations and the different channels uh, that we need, need to address with the particular adaptation for better communication because it, it gives me an aid memoir to be able to think about how to contact different types of people. So I like that. On a more personal level, if you like, um, I identify more with the schizoid traits inside myself. Um, so it, it, I found it very useful for myself in terms of thinking about, well, 
you know, how how do I actually move into these places myself? And what needs to happen for me to move out of them? And it reminds me of my own personal therapy and my own therapist, uh, how they met the, you know, withdrawn, cut off parts of myself and how between the two of us, my therapist and myself, became out into the world so I was more comfortable in relationships. So that's the personal identification when I think of the schizoid, um, the chapter on schizoid adaptation. So from a personal point of view, I identify with that particular chapter. But I very much like the overall, you know, the chapter deals with the overall um, connecting the four, that, the six adaptations and how we can address different adaptations in different ways to meet the different character style, styles. Yeah. So it's a very, a very enriching book. Um, it's even if you're not therapist, it's interesting because I can guarantee you that you will personally identify with particular character adaptations. So there'll be a personal identification as well. So for, in terms of interest, in terms of aiding communication, it's interesting. But as a trainee therapist, it gives you a structure and a way of working with different people come before you in the therapy room. Yeah, so what I'm hearing, Bob, is, is for you, the book has a professional um, a professional interest that refreshes you and refreshes your practice. It's got a personal connection about yeah. your own um, personality style or your own perspective on it. And also it allows you to, I guess, be able to access that information and teach it and help others, students, gain a, a sense of what it is and how to work with it. And gives them a map. Yes. A map of how to work with different character styles. What yeah. else can you ask for? Well, indeed, it seems like a very comprehensive book. And just remind us again, Bob, what, what it's called. We'll put a picture up. Um, it's, it's called Personality Adaptations by Ian Stewart and Van Joins. Yeah. And there's a pic, there's a, 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 the viewers can see a picture there. And what we'll do is we'll put a link below um, to the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy website and also to a place where they can, life, I think it's Life, life Share Publishing that published the book. Right. And um, and uh, you can you can peruse it there. So, Bob Cook, it's always a pleasure interviewing about your favourite books. The passion of um, your knowledge and the passion of your uh, reading, you know, the connection to the literature is plain for everyone to say. So, Bob Cook, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.